Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In our last video we learned about the basic ideas behind activity timeline as well as the concept of time planning. If you haven't seen that video yet, we recommend doing that before diving into this one. In this video we are going to show you how to set up activity timeline and running into your Jira in less than 10 minutes. Let's roll. Firstly, we need to add activity timeline app to your Jira instance. To do this, open apps, find new apps, search for activity timeline and click try it free. Now, when the app is installed, let's do some basic configurations with users and teams. Go to configuration, then to users. On this view, you see the users and their skills and positions. You can assign users to skills and position right on this screen. This information can later be used to group users into teams and identify resource capacity for specific skill sets. You can also use your existing Jira groups to configure user roles, skills, position and other data. You can do this by going to Users menu and then to Group tabs. Click on the Manage link near the group and define a team user role, position and skills. Once you've done this, all users in this group will receive these qualities. Also, any new group member will automatically receive the same set of characteristics. Alright, now when we've configured the users, we can now create teams. There are three types of teams in Activity Timeline. Classic aka Project Team, Functional Team and you can also import teams from Jira groups. To create a Classic Team, open Teams menu, then Create a Team and finally Classic Team. Here you can choose a name for a team, define its lead and associate a project with the team. Add users by manually adding them to a team. You can also use a shortcut to create a project teams based on your existing project data. Just go to Projects, click Create near the project name and the system will automatically add people assigned to that project. The last but not the least is Functional Team. This is automatic team created by the system based on the skills and position assigned to users. To create one, you need to choose skills or position and the app will automatically add people that possess these qualities. When you created these teams, they will be available in the drop-down menu on the planning view as well as in the different reports. When we have our users and teams in place, we can configure the integrations with Jira start and due date fields. This is not a mess for activity timeline to work, but we strongly recommend doing this, as this will allow to see changes in both systems simultaneously. Here in Configuration, Jira Integration tab, you have the option to select which Jira fields should be mapped to activity timeline start and add date fields. We recommend using standard Jira start and due date fields, but in general it could be any field you already use for this purpose in Jira. Select fields from drop-downs and click Update. Now click on the refresh issue to make a quick synchronization to load any date from those fields that already exist in your Jira. Once you're done with this, you can go to plan and start planning. From now all the dates will be stored in Jira. We are pretty much set up and ready after this, but if you'd like to have some better visualization, you can add some customization to your planning dashboard. You can customize how tasks appear in the calendar based on their projects, status, priority and so on. To do this, go back to configuration, then to issues and finally to issue customization. Here you can create different custom styles. For example, you can define that all tickets in the project must have a certain color and font. This will allow you to better visualize your plans on the calendar. That's it for the initial configuration of activity timeline. Now you have set up users with their skills and position, different teams, configure connection to Jira and the custom appearance for your plan. And all of this is under 10 minutes. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at See you in the next videos.